Oh, China, I do love when you are uh, setting yourself up. And when I say China, I'll say CCP. You know, it's one thing I have to admit. I'll, I'll give you the headline here first. We're going to be uh, talking a business today has a story. It's China to draw up a list aimed at punishing firms deemed harmful to its interests. That's the story. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. Uh, so, But I do love how I see so many people including myself and i didn't do it because of people i did it independent of them but i see a lot of people i think a lot of people have been doing this independently this so many of us have really especially if you're older and you and you grew up in non-isolated communities now that doesn't mean if you grew up in an isolated community that necessarily you didn't still go through this but there's a there's a fair chance you didn't uh, at least a fair chance but if you if you didn't grow up in isolated communities if you grow up in uh, diverse communities as you say in in terms of uh, ideationally and culturally and ethnically and otherwise uh throughout the years you've constantly been if there the degrees to which you've been able to build these types of uh stigmatizations against people based upon their cultural or ethnic or or even religious or otherwise differences it's been shattered for the most part because what you've been mostly experiencing is a constant barrage of uh, good people as you say people of integrity people you can trust from all walks of life and circumstances and bad people from all walks of life and circumstances and uh you know, it's it's harder and harder for you not to realize it doesn't really seem to be based upon ethnicity, race, even religion or non-religion, culture, really. I don't know. It just seems like people who are willing to thug on people come in all kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors and use all kinds of beliefs to justify their crap. And uh, the people that do good, same story same story and many of the people that do good use all kinds of justifications to justify their good and so i think because of that a lot of people naturally they're inclined to want to immediately point out and not because of any sense of of political correctness but because of we now empathize everybody looks like us now everybody looks like us cultures are like us We've seen too many different things for us to not find parts of us in almost everyone and everything around us. So Chinese people are us. We identify. We they we we can they they're they're they yeah, we just can't break we can't dehumanize Chinese people. So because of that, when we say China, we're all like CCP. Talk because because I hate the CCP. I hate what it stands for. I hate what it does. It is. Uh, it is a fash. It is. It is in the in the uh, in in as near a political science type of sense of the term fascist as you can <clears throat> uh, imagine, and maybe not exactly, but 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 pretty close. China is a fascistic state, a truly national socialist Nazi whatever. I mean, uh, Nazism and fascism aren't necessarily the same thing. There are some differences, but. Uh, they're they're certainly more Nazi than than fascist, and I'm not saying they're quite Nazi, but they're just they're they're just as evil, subjectively. If you if you value consensuality, objectively they're just as evil as as the Nazis of Germany. They truly are, and they've uh, and they they kill at at as large a scale, if not larger. They have the capacity to kill at even a significantly larger scale. And what they've been doing to try to stamp out and what they've successfully been doing for decades ethnically cleansing their own lands of anybody but the han the han have been growing in their dominance and their ethnicities have been shrinking why why do you think that is well there's a lot of reasons for it but ultimately it's because of a of a full-on coercive state effort through the years and it's only been ramping up dramatically under chairman z i mean this is this is china and to see us constantly making sure so many people across the world that oppose China. I see uh, Korean YouTubers that always make sure to point out they're talking about the CCP, not the Chinese people. 
And it's not, no, it's, it's, nobody needs anybody to give them a moral demand that they make such a thing. I don't, don't give me a moral demand. Don't try to moral authorize over me. Uh, it's just a natural, it's a natural result of living in diverse circumstances where you constantly see humans representing themselves for the good or the ill with no real correlation to be made regarding race, gender, and a number of other circumstances. Humanity seems to be uh, aggregately, uh, uh, disparately, diversely good and bad. And it doesn't seem to be based upon a lot of the fundamental markers that a lot of folks imagine that, that it once was. There's just no evidence for it in our lives. So it's wonderful to see that as we talk about China, we constantly, we're, we're just constantly saying CCP. China to draw up a list of aimed at punishing firms deemed harmful to its interest. I am so happy about this. I love this. Now I'm, yeah, the Chinese people are going to be uh, short term hurt by this, but I think there's a potential that uh, maybe mid and at least long term that you're going to come out on the other side of this in, in much better shape. But uh, for now, you're going to feel the pinch of Chairman Z clamping down on the power of China, on basically neutering his own nation for the sake of preserving his own power. That's what's going on. He is neutering his own nation for the sake of his own power. He must really work dramatically to secure absolute CCP power with him having absolute control of the CCP. Right now, in the here and now, and that means that he has to do things that, that no, no, no man, no winning tyrant would want to do. He has to clamp down on economic growth. And I don't even know if he knows that. I don't know how self-aware this guy is, if he's truly caught up in his own megalomania or, or what. But if he is, then he might actually believe his own poops and he might actually believe, all I got to do is make them focus more on the glory that it's me. And that's just going to work. So maybe he doesn't see this as a, maybe he thinks this is a good economic move. And it's also his uh, his little tit for tat policy. Whatever you do, I do worse. And you know, it's always the, the the winner is the one willing to do the most to eat heinous thing. Yeah, I know somebody. There's somebody that I had in my life, my identical twin. He used to to win wars with me because he's good now. He's gotten therapy. He's way better. But uh, when he was a kid, he was vicious. And that was his philosophy, you know, always be willing to do more than the other one. And he's like, he's, he was a Chinese, he was a Chinese, he was a Chinese Communist Party member and he didn't even know it. China, he isn't now, he is definitely the very opposite of that. Uh, China to draw up a list aimed at punishing firms deemed harmful to its interests. This is so wonderful. China's list will target foreign firms and individuals violating normal market transactions in China, interrupting deals with Chinese firms, or taking discriminatory measures against Chinese firms, the ministry said. China's Commerce Ministry on Saturday issued rules on its proposed list of unreliable entities, part of an un intensifying riff with the United States, saying it will target foreign firms and individuals endangering China's sovereignty and security. After President Donald Trump's administration imposed additional tariffs on Chinese goods and curbs on Huawei Technologies Company last year, China vowed to draw up a list aimed at punishing foreign firms deemed harmful to Chinese interests. Now, I don't claim to be an expert on what's real as far as markets and capacities of nation states, but my take here is that uh, for the United States, by freezing China out, we're only creating tremendous internal opportunities for Americans that are ready, willing, and able to fill those positions with their own companies. Whereas in China, by cutting out foreign powers, they are cutting themselves. They do not have, I mean, they have quite a significant portion of highly qualified, highly advanced, uh, truly innovative thinkers. That's going to be really, really much more difficult for them to work openly and candidly in Chairman Z's world. So I think we'll end up with a fair number of them before this is all said and done. Uh, but for now, <coughs> they have quite a number of capable folks. 
but they they don't they don't have nearly the the uh, the, the backbench. America has a huge number of of next level down innovators. Maybe they're not the top level like China has. America has its own top levels, mostly from other countries, by the way. They're now Americans, which is, well, that's been the secret of American power for quite some time. Uh, the American, uh, but, but what the Americans do have, they have, they have families and generations of uh, families of, of, of these type of uh, highly competent uh, backbench technicians and researchers and whatevers. Uh, in in their lands that uh, and and you know many many, many nation states in the West uh, do as well. China lacks that. They 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 need probably another 30, 40 years before they start to see those types of things emerge within their own nation states. So they are cutting themselves off far more from potential than these other these other nation states are creating opportunities within. China is cutting its own people off from opportunities. This is my 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 take my theory i could be wrong and uh if i am comment down below if that's true and uh there you have it i think this is going to be quite uh let oh let's see china's list will target foreign firms and individuals okay so in china interrupting deals with chinese firms are taking discriminatory measures against okay in may state-run tabloid global times reported the measures would target such u.s companies as apple cisco qualcomm this is beautiful. This is wonderful. This is wonderful from my perspective because I believe that China is having uh, a really deleterious influence on American corporatism, and it's 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 emboldened and in, and ennobled American corporations to to because of the security of uh, foreign money, uh, maybe 60, 70 percent of that Chinese, they've uh, they've uh, felt like they can they can cross. To, to, to a degree, almost everyone who makes a product and does marketing is trying to make a person, not serve a person. But there are degrees of that, and they've crossed almost almost wholly over to make a person rather than serve a certain person, and in large part because of the reduced competition at home and the reduced need for home approval for their continued existence. And things like this, this only... This is going to change the minds of Citadelians in America, and I believe that this is this bodes in the favor of those who are against the uh, the anti-authoritarian version or the authoritarian version of uh, SJW that these Citadelians are, are relying on for the source of their power right now. In order, well, uh, that's a long story, but uh, this. Uh, this incentivizes if there's any citadelians that maybe were on the chinese camp uh, and i do believe that there's a citadelians are in the chinese camp because they they fundamentally that life is so much easier for them and they have the ability to make america the way they want to make it with chinese power and with america in that close alliance with china that chinese power and american power for them that alliance, that alliance makes all the sense in the world because it, it emboldens and enables them to create products for China and serve, well, to create service for China and uh, to uh, create humans for themselves. So, hey, thank you, China. Thank you. Thank you for, for doing this to yourselves. And I hope and pray that the Chinese people can find ways their technology exists that technology exists today for even across china for many chinese people to live lives of their own choosing right here and right now uh, there are the, the the chinese government is not all godlike it can't be everywhere and anywhere and 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 there are believe you me there are digital undergrounds all throughout china there is there is undergrounds black markets all kinds of all kinds of stuff in China. The CCP, they only rule in the surface areas, in the areas where, where, where there's large numbers of people in small spaces where it's easy for them to visualize their control. But on the main, ultimately, even the CCP still can't fully ultimately control its own people with all of the technology, with all of the power that it has. I'll leave you at that. Thank you, China. 
thank you to CCP for uh, hastening your own demise. Appreciate it.